What's up guys, this is Shellshock from CTUSA Mini 4-Wheel Drive Racing Squad and I'm a teacher here in Newburgh. As you can see, I'm back after a long ass vacation and um, I just want to say shout out before I start. Shout out to all the No Turf um, Mini 4-Wheel Drive Racing in California. They will have a race there in a MIG X house. They're going to have a um, speed tech race to me, a class and such. Um, Kuya June, Alvin, um, Genesis, who else am I forgetting? Kuya June, Alvin, Genesis, and... um. Monarch, Monarch from uh, to me, um, Tectonics. Um, I want to say shout out to um, Jeff here too, our uh, friend uh, from JHT. He have a mini four wheel drive um, eBay account that you can buy all your mini four wheel drive parts. He's from Taiwan. His name is Jeff Ye, JHT. Uh, shout out to Roscoe. He have his own Roscoe channel too from Indonesia. And shout out for all the races over there in the Philippines, Sir Jerome, Sir Joey, and all the Newborgs members. And um. Congrats to all the winners, Team Putek too. What's up, Sir Janice? And all the Team Putek. Uh, what's up, guys? And um, to all the new works, um, <clears throat> OGs, Franz, Benz, Hans, Tiny, and Odin, Speed God. All right, and today we're going to talk about Super One, all right? Because I'm having a bunch of questions from uh, racers about Super One chassis, and um, they also want me to, like, make a detailed um, detail topic about chassis a different kind of chassis and um i'm gonna start with super one because super one is um the one that i first like the first encounter the first chassis that i encountered back in the 90s um this is what pretty much we use back in the days uh, back in 95 because i started racing when i was a kid back in 95 there are also chassis that are uh, available before which are the zero chassis zero chassis and um and zero one i think um that I don't know because I never had one, I never raced one, and I never modified one. So I'm going to start with the one that I used when I was a kid. Uh, one of the famous ones too is the Super 1 chassis. Alright, I'm going to show a picture and I'm going to show the stats. But before I before I start to showing you all the stats, um, I just want you to know that all the stats that I'm giving right now is straight out from the box. Alright, all the explanation I'm going to say and all about the things that I'm going to say about this chassis, it's, it's straight out from the box. Obviously, when you are trying to modify a car and you're trying to race it, you have to know all the stats, the strengths, and the weaknesses of the chassis. Again, as I always say, there's no such thing as good or bad or chassis. Every chassis is good in a different way. They have their own weaknesses and strengths. Now, it's up to you how you're going to make that chassis raceable. How do you conquer that weakness that the chassis have? All right? So if there's going to be a question it's like, oh, which is better, which is that, every chassis is good. It's just have, you just have to conquer or overcome or strengthen the weakness of that chassis in order for you to, to compete. Because that's what Mini 4-Wheel Drive is. There's no such thing as perfect chassis. Alright, so I divided, I divided all the categories and the stats that we have for every chassis that we have. Well, obviously we have the Super 1 right now. Um, the categories that I have, that I learned... From uh, is um, number one is cornering, number two is acceleration, three is stability, maintenance, adaptability, and toughness. Those are the categories that you need to focus and you need to look at if you're choosing a chassis. Because at first, when you're going to a hobby shop trying to buy, all right, you're new to the hobby, you're trying to race, you're trying to you're trying to start a hobby, you're trying to um, figure out what chassis you need to pick. Alright, so when you're picking a chassis, you have to fall in love with your chassis, focus on your chassis, know its strengths and weaknesses, and then conquer all the weaknesses of that chassis. And, you know, it's basically like picking up a girlfriend or a, or a, or a wife that you will just, like, commit and then try to learn more and study that chassis. I would suggest not jump on every other chassis because that's not going to work. You're just going to end up, like, have a bunch of chassis and you don't know what to do. Alright, so... Right now we're gonna talk about um, Super One chassis. I'm gonna say show you the diagram in two seconds. Okay, guys, as you guys can see, a Super One chassis. Uh, I just want to give you a quick preview that Tamiya Mini Four Wheel Drive um, releases the Super One chassis for a uh, for a date of June 1993. It was first released as a Liberty Emperor and further further improved version of a Zero chassis. Um, being an evolution of a zero chassis, the Super One chassis shares many parts with it. It's, so you can use a lot of parts from zero chassis going to the Super One. First is the front bumper that was redesigned too. 
but the roller the bumper of the super one chassis compared to a zero chassis is lower for uh for more speed because the zero chassis is higher so it's more uh, lower to the ground also every kit of a super one chassis have a side guard like all of the kits that ng kits ng super one chassis they have a side guard uh, you can see in the middle part you can attach it you can put rollers you can put stabilizer whatever you want and you can also put um some people put dampers and some people use it as any reinforcement that's more of uh, modification but despite of all these improvements um a super one chassis bumper is still very weak even though it's used as a re some reinforced parts, it's still not as uh, tough as the other chassis. But overall, I like this chassis, so that's a quick preview. And they will redesign another one, another hybrid of the Super 1 chassis, which is Super 2, but that would be another video. But now, I'm going to show you all the stats that a Super 1 chassis have. Alright, so this is the diagram of the stats of a Super 1. Um, as you guys can see, um, the Super 1 um, stat for cornering is 4. So the Super 1 chassis is very good in cornering. Um, the reason why is have it does have a very, very narrow uh, wheelbase. It's actually, I think, 60 millimeter for the wheelbase. So it's really good in, cor it's really good in corners. Um, acceleration is also 4, which is only 1 down compared to the fastest chassis, uh, VS chassis. So the acceleration is 4. So it's pretty much good in straights because um, the reason of it is the length of the chassis is really um, is uh, short. So it's good in straights and also the chassis is very, very light, which is good for acceleration. Um, unfortunately, the stability is three because of the accelerate because the car is light and it's not as tough. The stability suffers. The car is very light and very short. So that's one characteristic of the Super 1 chassis that you have to focus on is the stability. So again, this is from straight out from the box. So if you start putting hop-up parts, try to enforce the chassis to make it the car more stable. So the stability for Super 1 chassis is 3. Um, also, uh, one weakness of the Super 1 chassis is the maintenance. Because um, it takes a lot to maintain. Because again, this is not as durable as the other chassis. This is one of the oldest chassis that we have. So um, this chassis is um, is a, have a low grade when it comes to maintenance, which is 3. Um one more thing is adaptability adaptability of this chassis is not as great you know, adaptability of this chassis is only three um the chassis um doesn't have a lot of holes um and also you can't put a three-point attachment to it so you got to figure it out how you're going to make that rear part um stronger and then the front bumper too is uh, as i've said earlier it was it is weak and it's um so the adaptability the adaptability of this chassis is only three all right and last but not the least is toughness um as i've said earlier this chassis is not is flimsy this is not as um this is not as strong but there are ways how to make um that chassis really tough so the toughness of this chassis is only two which is one of the lowest um uh when it comes to toughness so if you really want to put a lot of work when it comes to this chassis to make it really like to reinforce it, make it stable and well maintained, and uh, make it make uh, make it adaptable, um, you are very welcome to use this chassis. Um, again, there is no such thing as good or bad chassis. It's just happened that Super One have toughness, adaptability, maintenance, and stability is its weakness. But when it comes to cornering acceleration, this car is gonna fly. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all the stats. Um, I'm going to show you uh, more up close with a S1 chassis in two seconds. All right, now that I've showed you the diagram and all the stats of the chassis, I'm going to show you what the chassis looks like when you go buy it, like um, a Super 1 chassis. Well, this one is from a Sonic Saber. Pretty much, uh, this Sonic Saber is from Audience Speed God, by the way. Thank you so much for giving me this painted um, body shell. The military, thank you. Thank you for Audin. Um, All right. So I'm gonna show you like all the stats that a uh, that a uh, Super One chassis have. All right, Super One's chassis is pretty much an upgraded version of a Zero chassis. Uh, if anybody haven't seen a Zero chassis, um, you can guys check it in Google. They have pictures over there. But me personally, I haven't owned one, so I really don't know. All right, so this chassis is a little bit narrower compared to other chassis, and um, this chassis is pretty short. It's pretty basic. The length. Of this chassis, it's 181 millimeters. So from this point, a 
at this point it's 81 millimeters it is one of the shortest chassis that you have in mini four-wheel drive world so it's pretty much pretty much explain why it's good in cornering and um the width is only 19 millimeters when i say the width it's from the widest part of the chassis up to the other side so um also the chassis come out with a wing that you can go it's it's the first chassis that have it's only only chassis that have the detachable wing so you ta attach that wing right there and from that point to that point it's 19 millimeters so you can go wider on the middle and you can also put dampers over there but that's a different story okay the ground clearance of this is six millimeter on large diameter so if you have a large diameter the ground clearance of this chassis would be 60 millimeter above the ground that's so that's pretty high if you don't trim it um three millimeter for the small dia so small diameter it would be three millimeters so if you trim that that will be go down for one millimeter and as we all know lower center of gravity would be like you know it's more stable because the gravity of the batteries is pulling down pretty much the chassis all right the drive shaft is 60 millimeters all right as you guys all know the narrower the narrower the tires that closer to the body less power loss that's why it's good in acceleration all right as i've said earlier this car have a great acceleration um and also if it's closer to the body it's good in cornering that's why it shows that this chassis is pretty much uh, the beast in cornering again from straight out from the box okay um, the down thrust which is the angle from a stock the down thrust of this chassis as you can see that part all right I'm gonna make it closer that down thrust when you put a stock rollers or any rollers not with an FRP with a chassis all the stock racers over there it's eight degrees all right that's that's kind of a lot that's a lot for a chassis so you really don't have to worry about angling this one because it's all this this chassis already have an angle as we all know when you're jumping on the when you're racing a mini four-wheel drive angle is really important so you won't shoot out when you go into a change lane or a killer change lane so uh, that's what pretty much all the stats that i haven't t said in the first um, on the diagram but Here's are the um, qualities that the um, Super One chassis have. Um, it, it does have a detachable. It is the motor case, all right. You can detach it like that. All you have to do is just push this part, push that part, and you can remove it. So you basically have you put your terminals over here. I don't have it over here, and you put your gears, your um, counter gear over here. All right, this one is very different because there's a there should be a shaft over there. And then you put your counter gear. Um, unfortunately, the Super One chassis with this gearbox, you can only put four or five, four one combination of gear um, on this car box. So you need to upgrade your car box. Uh, in order for you to upgrade a car box, you need to buy a special gear ratio, which is um I'm gonna put the item number over there. It's a it's called a special gear ratio, and it's basically making this big, this part big. So you can put um, you can put a bigger counter gear over there, and um, you can also put your uh, dish gear over here and your crown gear. So it also have um, the drive shaft will be on this side, on the left side, and the switch will be here, with a tra very traditional. And the battery catch is pretty, you know, it's not as durable, but it gets the job done. Gets the job done. Um, if you look at the back, there's no mounting point over there. There's no mounting point compared to other chassis like Super 2, TZX, and others. But that's a different video. But there's no mounting point over here. Usually there's a mounting point over here. So if you're trying to put a rear stay... It's not work it's not gonna work so you have to figure it out but you also have the an attachment over there so this is one of the older chassis so let's say you have to want to put you have to use this kind of hop apart or other parts that you can find to make it more durable you know but yeah as I've said in the stats 
the adaptability is a little bit lower because there's no holes over there and there's only one attachment. Usually we just put a three-point attachment if you have one like this one. Uh, this chassis that I got from um, from Canada from uh, Bryce. Uh, he gave me this one, aka Flames. Um, he put a carbon CNC made to I can, so I can put um, a rear stay over there to make it a rear attachment. But yeah, so from straight from the box, there's no hole, so adaptability is a little bit lower. And we'll go up front. As you can see, it's not as tough as other chassis. All right, and it's narrower. The um, the holes for um, for the rollers, there's only two holes, and it's not as durable, but it's good for them. Um, really, it's really light. All right, so the acceleration and the the speed is uh, this car will rip. This will go will rip on straight, and then in cornerings. Um, the car in general is very light. Um, there's the switch over there, and there everything is snap on. So. That's pretty much what it looks like if you buy a Super 2. I mean a Super 1. So, um, I like this chassis because most of this chassis is from the original anime. Jet and Joey Let's and Go. So, the, from the Magnum Sabers to Big Spider to Proto Saber JBs. All of that stuff. If you're an anime lover, you will love the Super 1. But, yeah. So, that's what the Super 1 looks like. If you guys want more work. If you guys want more work. You you can go for Super 1, but if you have less bork, there's other chassis over there. But I will highly suggest if you really want to race a Super 1 chassis, you have to put yeah, like you put dedication on it. They have to know like how to make it more durable and make it more tough. Because this is not the strongest chassis that we have. It also twist. And um Yeah, so um, I'm a super love I'm a super one lover myself. And um, I'm also a Super 2 um, lover, so I like Super 1. And um, I, there's a question too that a newbie asked me of if what, like, uh, what myself, what the category, like, uh, I prefer using Super 1 myself. For myself, or in my own opinion, um, I use this for, um, I can also use this for speed tech, but I just have to figure it out how will I bumper less this one and um, how will it put long tail because. Again, I said I have to, I have to make it stable and uh, durable. But I would use it for high speed, like this setup that I'm building. Um, I got this from uh, from Bryce again from Canada. Thank you so much for this chassis. Uh, it's pretty much bumperless over there, and they put carbon put carbon over there and in the rear. And because I want because I would say high speed because there's not a lot of jumps slopes cut bridge and stuff when you're racing high speed so the car the impact that the car will have is lessened and the acceleration will be so awesome because this have a short body especially when you bumper less this one it's pretty much all the power from the motor is going to this car so it's going like you know it's gonna rip it's gonna go really really fast on the track when you're using high speed that's just me all right high speed and speed tech not so much in speed tech but i will use in high speed I will also use it on a stock race, like super stock or pro stock. Because, um, again, it's going to work with the chassis. Like, it's a, it's a Sonic Saber, and then I can put a roller over there. And uh, the modification goes on. But, yeah, this is Super 1. And um, I'm going to give you, again, the stats. I gave it to you earlier, but, again, I'm going to give you all the stats. Um, for Super 1, the corner ring is 4. The acceleration is 4. The... The, um, what you call this? The stability is three. The maintenance is three. Adaptability is three, and toughness is two. So um, that's over all of nineteen, and that's it for our favorite chassis super one. All right. So um, if you guys like this video, please like, hit subscribe, and like. Don't forget to say any comments. Again, so I want to say shout out to all the new works over there. Uh, next video I'm gonna make is about TZ chassis for all the TZ chassis lovers over there. I'm gonna make this video for you. Um. But again, this is Shell Shop from CTV USA Mini Four Wheel Drive Racing Squad, and I'm a teacher in the works. As I always say, you learn from us, we learn from you, and always race humble. Peace.